Hello, 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 and welcome with Cooking with Camille. Today is a good day to have some soup, and we're going to make some soup. We're going to do it something quick and fast. I was going to make this one soup, but it's so hard to find the noodles. It's called, um, I can't think of it right now, but uh, I'll let you know what it is. I really can't think of it. Okay. <clears throat> It's called, I think it's pronounced uh, Fajoli. Fajoli. It's spelled F A G I O L I. Fajoli. Well, it was hard to find that pasta. I was going to make it. So I'm going to do, <clears throat> do something a little different. I'm going to make some seashell soup. Okay. So I almost made like the, um, the Fajoli, but. I'm going to do it my way. <clears throat> so, we're going to put uh, a pot on for water for the soup and a skillet on with some olive oil to heat in it to stir fry <clears throat> my vegetables. Okay, let's turn this camera on so you can see what we got. Okay, we're going to use some um, celery. <clears throat> About two stalks of celery, one onion. I got some great northern beans, some light kidney beans. Uh, you can use some pasta sauce or you can use uh, tomatoes, a uh, paste. I got some small shells. I got some Parmesan cheese. I got some, we're going to, instead of using fresh because I'm going to do it quick, carrots. I got some beef sausage and I got some hamburger. Okay. And whatever else I decided to throw in there. So let's get started. Okay. Okay, first, while our olive oil is getting hot, we're going to go ahead and start stir-frying our onions and our celery together. I'm going to cut up uh, three cloves and add to our meat when we cook our meat. So go ahead and cut up three cloves while this is cooking. Okay, i got a pot of water on over there. Oops. Over here. Pot of water on. You're also going to need some <coughs> beef base. We're going to add some beef paste to that so you get the seasoning that you want. I'm going to do probably about, <clears throat> we're going to try a half a teaspoon, I mean a half a tablespoon first and see how it turn out. I just want to get it to the flavor, okay? And if you get too salty, you want to add, a, it's just the base. I like the base better, it lasts a longer time than the uh, other kind, the paste. And you get the flavor that you want, okay? We're also gonna use our seasonings. We're gonna use Italian seasoning. I'm gonna use my my Italian seasoning. I usually use Chef Carmen's, <clears throat> my everything seasoning. We're gonna use Chef Carmen's all-purpose seasoning. We're gonna put a little garlic salt in the meat, some uh, basil leaves, and some parsley flakes, okay? And then some pepper. Okay. And I'm cutting up the garlic while this is cooking. Okay, we want to <clears throat> add our beef sausage. It's hard to find this beef sausage. I bought it in Hartsfield when I was in Hartsfield. Uh, the beef sausage. I'm just going to break it up. And then I add our hamburger. Until they come brown. We're going to add our everything seasoning. Oh, you season whatever you want to season it with. Add some Italian seasoning. <clears throat> All purpose seasoning. And a little garlic salt. Just gonna stir that till it gets golden brown, and taste your broth that you're brought doing back here. Then get your beef taste to it. Okay, we're gonna add our garlic. I'm just gonna add a tad more of garlic salt. Just a tad, not too long. Make it too salty. And some more Italian seasoning. And once we get our beef flavor over here, then we're going to add our uh, 
basil to it, okay? Then you want to add some pepper. Oops, not too much. I'll do like I do. Some pepper. <laughs> and continue to stir. Okay. <clears throat> so I got it to my taste. I add another half of a tablespoon of uh, beef base in there. That's all I needed. Now we're going to add some uh, basil to it. Some basil to give it a little flavor. I say about a half a teaspoon, not a tablespoon, half a teaspoon for some basil. And we're going to put some parsley in there. We're going to do about a teaspoon of parsley. Oh, let's go a tablespoon. Tablespoon of parsley. We're going to stir that up. And we're going to add our meat mixture to it with the juice and all, because we want all them flavors in there. All that juice. Okay. I'm making something quick today because one of my co-workers passed and I want to go to her wait today. So I'm trying to do something quick in a hurry for dinner. And then stir it up. Then we're going to add our spaghetti sauce. Now, I, my pasta sauce, remember I had some in the refrigerator, so I'm going to use that up first. So I have a half a jar in the refrigerator. We're going to use that. Half a jar of pasta sauce. And also add a little water to it. And shake, like mom used to say, get all that out of there. All that out of there. Okay, then I got some stewed tomatoes. Put the whole can of stewed tomatoes. I didn't think I told y'all this, but we're going to add some stewed tomatoes to it. Okay, we're going to add the kidney beans to um, great northern beans. Add the juice to it because it thickens it up. drain some of this juice out of here so we can have room for everything. I'm gonna, I put too much water in there. Hold on. Okay, so we're going to add the oh, sorry. The kidney beans with the juice too because the juice will make it thicker. Okay. And we're going to drain the carrots. Drain your carrots. I'm doing canned carrots because it's quicker if you do uh, fresh carrots, it's going to take a while to cook. If you're not cooking it quick, then just do can. Cut them up real good in a can so it can be pieces instead of whole carrots. Be like chopped carrots. And then pour them in there slowly. Also. Pour that in there. You can leave them whole if you want. I want mine chopped up. Everybody do what they want. I like mine chopped up. I might have missed some, so that's okay. They have some whole, some chopped. Okay. And then we're just going to let that cook down a little bit. I'm going to clean up a little bit while this is cooking. So we're going to let this cook for about 10 minutes, and then we're going to add our pasta to it. And let it continue to cook because your great northern beans are canned so they're already pre-cooked and your kidney beans so that's all you need and we're going to let it be thicken a little bit and add our noodles that's all we got to add let me look and see you have our noodles and then we'll put the cheese on top okay we're going to taste it and see what it tastes like mm. Perfect, y'all. Perfect. Oh, I can taste all the flavors. Oh, my God. Mm. Y'all better ask somebody. Mm, mm, mm. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Y'all better ask somebody. Y'all better ask somebody. Okay, we're going to let that come to a boil. Make it the top. Put on that. 
Ten minutes, y'all. We'll come back with the noodles. Okay. Look like it's boiling, y'all. Look at this. Looks good. Looks good. I'm going to add the pasta. I'm not going to use the whole box. I'm going to use two cups of pasta. There's one cup. There's two cups. I think I'll do two and a half. And we'll save the others for another day. Two and a half is enough to blow up on me. So I'm going to continue to stir and let it continue to cook. And we're going to thicken it a little bit. Just a, I don't know, just a little tiny bit. I'm going to thicken a little bit. Just add some, uh, make a roux and add it a little thicker. Okay? We're going to do that um, when the noodles get done. So we'll be back. We're going to let that boil till the noodles get done. That should be about 10 more minutes. Okay, let's check it. I was gone for a minute. Okay, it's ready. Look at that, y'all. Let's turn it down a little. See, just... I don't want it to stick. Look at that, y'all. Nice soup. If you want to <clears throat> thicken it, you can. But it's perfect. Seashell soup. Let's plate it up, everybody. Okay, y'all. There's our soup. It looks good. I'm going to put some Parmesan cheese on top. I just got some regular Parmesan cheese. We're going to put it on top for decoration. And it's good to mix in there too. So, put it on top. And I got some onion cha um, scallions. Put it on top of that. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Y'all better ask somebody. Lord Jesus. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, let me hit myself on the back again. I just be making up stuff. But it's similar to that one I told y'all about. <clears throat> um, no, I can't never remember the name of it. Um, um, what was it? Fajola? Fajola or something? I guess that's how you pronounce it. But there we go, y'all. Our soup of the day. Seashell soup. Ask somebody. You better ask somebody. Follow me. Please subscribe. Tell others. Share, please, y'all. Help me out. I like to get a thousand subscribers. I can't even get a thousand. It's been on a year. Please share and like. I love y'all. Have a blessed day. Seashell soup. Wonderful. Bless you. Look at all them colors. Look at all those colors. And guess what, y'all? Only took an hour to make. One hour to make. Wow. Oh, yeah. We know what I want to ask that. Why these people don't want to pick up their free gifts that I'm giving them? Uh, I got three people. I still got three gifts. You know what? If they don't start picking them up in two weeks, I'll give them to the next for next month. All right. Just letting y'all know. I got three people who ain't picked up their gifts yet. One was supposed to pick up yesterday and didn't show up. All right. Bye.